We're back out at the Little Lake today, and I challenged myself to spend less than $10 on tackle and baits and see if we can still catch a fish. Stick around, you don't want to miss this one. Welcome back to Lowbrow Fishing, and today I wanted to challenge myself. You know, we're always talking on this channel about saving money, doing tips and tricks on the cheap. How to get the most bang for your buck when you're out on the water. Well, today I wanted to kick that up a notch and just really challenge myself. So I asked a simple question, can I spend less than $10 for bait, terminal tackle, everything we need, minus rods and reels to get on the water and fish? Can I go into the store, get exactly what I need, hooks, weights, worms, hard baits, or whatever, and go out and catch fish with those things and do it for less than $10? So that's exactly what I set out to do today. Went to my local Walmart, shopped around, saw the budget aisle, and this is what I picked out. I got some worms and I got a cotton cordell little minnow jerkbait. I figured with the way things are, and fall being in full bloom, as it were, that these were going to be perfect baits on the little lake. So we went out here and I gave them a try. Let's see how I did. All right, we're going to take a look and see what we got because I got a bag full of goodies here. We got two packs of cream stick baits. We got a cotton cordell jerk bait. It was the only one that they had in there. And then we got some terminal tackle to top it all off. I'm going to get some. There we go. We got some 3 16 ounce worm weights that I'm going to use for Texas rig. We got some 3 aught straight shank or 3 aught offset worm hooks. And then I got these I'm going to use for a wacky rig. So this is what we got for 10 bucks. Actually less than 10 bucks. This is the receipt and it was $9.90. This is what I'm fishing with today. This is what I'm going to use. I'm not using anything else. We spent less than $10. Let's see if we can catch a fish. All right, here we go. I spent less than $10 at Walmart. I've got a, uh, I've got a cream stick bait tied on, wacky rig style, my weedless wacky rig style, and we're going to start from way back here, because this water is super, super clear. We've got a good bit of cloud cover today, finally. It has been so sunny out. And we're just going to kind of work this area back here for a minute. we got some cloud cover, so I'm going to work a little bit. I've got two different color worms. I actually have a natural green pumpkin color, and I have a darker blue, which is what I'm working now. And the uh, cloud cover, I'm kind of letting it go with a little bit of a darker color. I've got my ultralight, well, not really super ultralight, but I've got my light combo here. I've got my medium light power rod with a, a real bendy tip. And we're fishing this wacky rig weightless. So we're going to see if we can catch anything at all today. You got your little babies with you. Two, four, six. Oh, we got a couple coming, bringing in the rear. Well, how about that? You have been busy, Mama. You have been very busy. Hey. Okay, we have made a switch to the little cotton cordell jerkbait. Well, that cast pretty good. All right. It's a floater, which is about what we expected. Well, there's Mama ducking her babies. 
So, see how we look. Doesn't look bad. I'm kind of just bumping the uh, slack out of it, letting it rise up. I didn't even check and see if this thing had a rattle or anything in it. Well, that actually looks pretty good when you work it. That does not look bad at all. Do you have a rattle? Yeah, you've got a rattle. Okay. I didn't even check it. You know, I have a, a couple others very similar to that. Uh, but I did not bring them because we are being true to the challenge here. I'm using only what I bought. And the thing about a jerkbait is I've noticed that when fish hit it, they'll hit it and they'll run. So, I mean, when they hit a jig or a soft plastic, a worm, they kind of slurp it. But when they hit a jerk bait, they hit it and they take off. Ah, there we go. Did I get him? No, I missed him. Golly. He hit it and took off. But I missed him. I'm going to get back out there and see if I can get him again. Get right back out there where he was. See if I can get him to go for it again. He almost pulled the rod out of my hand. I did not get a good hook set on him, though. That was my fault. He may not come back for it. I got him. I got him that time. Ah, oh, dag nabbit. He got off. I couldn't get him to the bank. Let me try one more time, right out in there. We're getting bites. I didn't get a good, I mean, I had him good. He, he wasn't huge, but he was pretty good sized one. I mean, when I'm working a jerk bait in the summertime, I'm working it a lot quicker. I'm doing it old KVD style, you know. Crank, jerk, jerk, crank, jerk, crank, jerk, crank. Not doing that at all. I'm giving it a couple of pops and I'm letting it sit. I'm letting it come up to the surface, pretty much. And then I'm just letting it sit. I'm working it real, real slow. This is almost, I mean, it's, it's almost like a finesse bait at this point, right? And just tap, 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 tapping the slack out of the line. That's all I'm doing. Tapping that slack out of that line. I'm not ripping it at all. I'm barely tapping it. And it does give me... I'm getting... I'm getting good side... Oh, there we go. I got him. Little bitty dude came up and hit it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, buddy. Um, I got him pretty good. He came up and he nailed that thing. I saw him do it. So, 
Give me just a minute while I undo him. I'll be right back. All right, we caught this dinky little spot on this, uh, on that jerk bait, on that cotton cordell jerk bait. So he wasn't hooked nearly as bad as I thought he was. Quarter pounder with bricks in his pockets, maybe. That is very, very telling. We may have to, uh, I don't know. That tells me that they have had a lot of fishing in here lately, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, I can't even get a, a reaction. <clears throat> That's grass. I can't even get a reaction bite. I mean, it's like it plops on their head, and they don't even they don't even blink. They don't even blink. Of course, I mean, fish can't blink, but you get the idea. You get the idea. I know fish can't blink. I know fish don't have any eyelids. But the point is, I throw it right at them, and they just keep swimming like nothing. They just keep swimming like it's nothing. There we go. I got one. Ooh, he's not bad either. Come on, buddy. There we go. Challenge complete. Oh, uh-uh, you weren't going anywhere. I had you pretty good, too. I don't want him to bleed, but he's bleeding, so we got to get him back in the water. Come on. I got to go get the pliers, get him free, and they are way over here, so I'm going to have to clip that hook. If I can't get it out, I just clip the hook. We're going to clip that barb off of you, buddy. There. I know the hook is ruined, but now it came out. And I'm more interested in the fish. No, come here, come here, buddy, come here. Ah, you're ruining me. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You're gonna ruin your slime tote. Come on. Ah, uh -uh. all right, buddy. There we go. Well, he danced all over the ground. He's free now. You go ahead and boy, he cut the heck out of me. I guess we're even. Let me get you washed off, boy. He he cut the snot out of my finger. Anyway, all right. Yeah, he's. Three quarters of a pound, pound, pushing a pound. Not a bad little fish. All right, thank you, buddy. Boom, there he goes. All right, he'll, he'll be okay. I'm going to have to retie. Boy, he cut the snot out of me. <laughs> I guess I earned that one. See if anybody's out that way a little bit. We'll make a few casts out there. Ooh. There we go, I'm on. Ooh, he feels good. Come on now. He feels good. He is good. Come up here, you. That's two. Just making a cast out and he got him right in the roof of the roof of the mouth too. Look at that. See if I can get the hook out of there. All right. Look at that gorgeous thing. See how pretty he is? Yep, that's a hybrid, I figured it was. He's almost got coloration like a largy. He's got a fin like a largy, but he's got a He's got the mouth of a spot and the tongue of a spot. But that, this dude here is over a pound. I knew he felt pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and get a picture with him real quick. There we go. There we are. 
All right, beautiful. Thank you, buddy. You did a great job. You hit it as soon as it hit the water. All right. Appreciate you. There he went. There he goes. So there you have it. For less than $10, we got a whole day's worth of fishing. We got worms, we got weights, we got hooks, we even got a jerk bait. And we caught fish on pretty much everything that we threw today. It was a great time, and we did it for less than $10. That just goes to show you, you don't have to be rich to fish. With the cost of everything going up more and more every day, and gas becoming so expensive, just getting out to the lake can be a financial strain. So you really don't have to spend a lot of money to catch fish. And remember, it's technique over tackle. And as long as you're having fun, then you're doing it right. So until we catch you in the next one, thanks for watching Lowbrow Fishing.